lovely Brian Myers. Hi. Trippy Butter. Brian Trippy Butter Myers. Yes. You gotta have the like awkward apostrophes as like your nickname. <laughs> and coming up on stream, we have a match between another DB personnel, Jackie Peanuts, and the one and only Yeti. And I am so excited for this match. Uh, I think Yeti is a little shook coming into this. Jackie has <laughs> won shook. the the last two sets they've played with each oh, other. Oh yeah. Um, taking a set off of. Yeah, uh, Yeti's Mega Man with Mario, and then I believe a couple weeks ago it was Duck Hunt into Toon Link, and then Duck Hunt into Falcon. Mm -hmm. So, Jaggy Peanuts is snatching all those wigs. Gonna snatch another one. All right, so Good. but this time it looks like we got Duck Hunt Toon Link battle of a firefight, really. <laughs> yeah. Battle of the projectiles. Ooh, oh no! Beautiful read by Yeti on. And Jack, by holding yeah, that, Jack uh, laughing that one off yeah. a bit. It's like, wow. Yeah, very smart um, hold on the second hit by Yeti. Or delayed, rather. You know, Jackie okay. Peanuts was looking so good in the beginning of that stock, too. I know, yeah, it was looking really, really um, even. A lot of trades by both sides. Ooh. But for sure, Jackie Ooh. Peanuts is going to want to make great use of that down B because not only um, does it have a transcendent projectile on it, but it provides a wall against Toon Link. So he's got to be very smart about when he uses that down B because he can't keep it up forever. Woo! <laughs> Also, um, Yeti is going to use, like he's been using that boomerang, has a great interaction against the can. Yeah. yeah. Um, knocks it away um, really far. He's been doing a great is... job, Yeti, uh, of making these little pokes on the can and really not giving Jackie Peanuts time to place it. Yeah. Because the thing I find with Duck Hunt is a lot of people respect the can too much. And in some cases, unless the Duck Hunt's like baiting you or something, you want to be aggressive and try to hit it away as much as you can because if Duck Hunt lacks the control of the can like the total control of the trajectory he loses a lot of options definitely and if you get like you know especially one of those quick uh, low knockback hitboxes to disrupt the can and make it really hard for him to work yeah. with and but beautiful uh, jump uh, read on to jump from ledge yet he's going to take game one with a two stock you know it, it is yeah. very hard to be in that position with oh, Duck Hunt yeah. when you you were in control and suddenly you're down a stock. Now yep. you have to put in work against a zoner. It's hard in, yep. a, in a zone battle. He definitely lost his, uh, Jack lost his momentum a little bit in that first game and in um, a version of Smash in which uh, it's only two stocks. That is very bad. This is very detrimental. Uh, but he's going to come back here for game two. Let's see what he's got. We are running back to Smashville. Yeah, no stage mix-ups. I don't think anything nah. stood out too strong other than just losing a quick stock to forward smash. And Jack could potentially get some cheeky kills with some aerials on the platform all the way to the side with the right setup. Yeah. I've seen him do it before. Right, but Yeti has just been controlling the stage so well in these matches. Picking great times to throw out his projectiles. Oh, that was a great use um, of Jackie Peanuts with the down B there. And he, yep. he's smart. He's not approaching Toon Link too much, which is definitely something you don't want to do as Duck On. Because who's going to win the close range Ooh. battle? Probably Toon Link. Again, great coverage with the can using the... Um the shield so that the can will hit the shield first and then explode on hit when Toon Link comes up and approaches. Ooh. Ooh, that was a beautiful response by Yeti to that. Yeah. I was not uh, expecting you know? the aggressive short hop in air. Yeah, that was a, a good answer to Jack's um, you know, auto cancel down airs that he's been going for. And he uh, reversed it too. The space saving was definitely optimal. Yeti very good about, you know, cutting off that aerial approach. Um, yeah. You know, those bounce gunmen. Yeah. I was going to say, Jack is usually very, very smart about um, setting up his projectiles, but Yeti is just creating this wall immediately in front of him that is making it dangerous for Jack to even press the button to put it out. He's yeah. getting punished a lot. 
Yeah, uh, you know, Jackie Peanut setting up these gunmen, but hasn't been able to pull too much out of it yet. Um, Yeti controlling that space very well. Yeah, and that's crucial so. to Duck Hunt, um, having that horizontal advantage by controlling that distance. Okay, Oh, There we go. That was a good mix-up on the shield. Jab one, jab two, then roll and, and grab. Ooh. It's so intimidating to just have the can sitting at the ledge and I you're know, trying to get yeah. up. You're like... What I mean, gonna do here? That is that is um Ooh. Ooh. catches the tether. Ooh. That is uh what Duck Hunt does best though is those ledge oh traps. Gosh. They are devastating. You know, I don't know if so that was just a, a bait or the situation that he just, you know, did knock that can away oh. and then turned around and grabbed immediately. That was a slick move by Yeti. Okay, Jackie Peanuts has definitely found his groove a little bit. He's come back uh Pretty respectably Ooh. here in game two. You can tell those boomerang or back here that give him a little, little bop. Ooh. Oh no! Uh, yeah, the I think he was thought he w would have the distance to roll behind, but um, yeah. the spacing was a little off, and yet he is going to take that. Um, going to avenge himself a little bit, but good stuff by Jack, proving that the uh, two wins over Yetis were definitely not flukes. He definitely held his own in that set. Definitely, um, you know, Yeti. Made a lot of adaptations. I think he he played a little more straightforward and yep. cut and dry in this, mm -hmm. as opposed to like the tricksy style we usually see Yeti controlling yep. a lot of space and mixing you up with his movement. This seemed a lot more like I've I found the habit. Now I'm just gonna punish you with forward smash and take that stock. Absolutely. He, he, he was down to business this time. Too afraid to let Jack down have to too much space. <laughs>